In November 2008, we evaluated 12 commercially available durable asset tags. Passive RFID tags designed to be mounted directly on metal, operate near metal, or submersed in water. Based on our tests, OmniID had the best overall performing tags. Now, OmniID has released new versions of their tags, including a new model called the OmniID Ultra. The OmniID Ultra, they claim, can be read from 100 feet away, further than any other passive RFID tag on the market. In this edition of the RFID Network, we're going to put that claim to the test and see if the Ultra truly is the ultimate passive RFID tag. Stay tuned. Welcome to the RFID Network. I'm your host, Lou Sirico. In this edition, we're going to focus on durable asset tracking tags. These are passive RFID tags designed to withstand a number of challenging environmental operating conditions. In order for a tag to be included in our tests, they have to have an IP or ingress protection rating, which provides a standardized measure of durability. The tags are categorized by both metal mount and submersible tags. They're also in multiple classes, and the class that the tag is in is based on the dimensions of the tag. The durable asset tracking tags we're going to test are from OmniID. Unlike other passive RFID tags that use large metallic antennas to achieve longer read ranges, OmniID tags capture RF energy using something called a plasmonic structure, which is totally unique and even patented by OmniID. Let's take a look at how the plasmonic structure works. Inside of every OmniID tag is an integrated circuit with a small traditional loop antenna. As RF waves are transmitted from an RFID reader towards the tag, the plasmonic structure captures those waves and concentrates the energy from them around the integrated circuit, as you can see here. The red shows where the greatest amount of energy is located inside of the tag. The concentrated energy activates the integrated circuit, which allows the tag to respond to the RFID reader and provide the data stored on the tag, such as an electronic product code or other unique information. Based on our previous tests, the plasmonic structure makes the OmniID tags extremely energy efficient. I'm with Andre Cote, Chief Technology Officer of OmniID. Andre, welcome. Thank you. So, Andre, you brought with you today a number of different uh, RFID tags. Can you tell us about them? Sure, and thank you for having me. Um, we have our Ultra Tag and our Max HD and our Max Pro Tag. These tags are for our industrial purposes, and we have our standard product offering that we've been selling now for a couple of years. So, tell us about this big Ultra that we've heard a lot about. What? Tell us about this. So this is a very unique product, I have to say. We have uh, launched this as the first 100-foot um, tag on metal in the world. Um, this tag took us a little while to, to design. You can see it here. Uh, that's what's inside. Very durable, global tag, 100-foot on metal. So it'll work any frequency. Again, ship it around the world, and it's going to work at those distances. So we're very pleased with it. So there's no battery at all inside that Absolutely tag? Absolutely no battery. None of our products have batteries. Uh, they're all passive tags. And this has a 512-bit chip in it, so you can have extended memory if you like. Uh, and we're very proud of the product. So tell me a little bit about this. You don't use a traditional antenna in here? No, we have our own design loop antenna, and our product is um, uh, patented. And we use the um, uh, theory of plasmonics. And what we do is we harvest the energy more efficiently than a standard dipole. So what happens is we put a, a loop antenna in the appropriate location on our product. And we do that with all of our products. We have about three or four design loops now. And that, along with the structure, this plasmonic device, is what helps harness the energy uh, coming into the tag and then sending it back out more efficiently. Now these tags will work both on metal and off metal? Absolutely. These will all work on metal and off metal, except for this tag here, which was tuned to be a regional tag. So it will work on metal, regional, because people wanted to have, with this flat uh, tag and uh, the size and shape of it, the most read distance that we could get out of it for metal only. So these were regionally designed on metal. 
The rest of them can all work on and off metal. Our standard product offering has been what we call balanced to work on and off. And so you can space them off of metal, put them on plastic, and they will continue to work. And these being global, obviously, uh, if you put them on things other than metal, they will continue to work. So a tag that's designed to be read on metal isn't necessarily going to get the same performance if it's near metal or off metal. Is that correct? That's, that's absolutely correct. Most people that today make uh, their own tags, they use a spacer. We do not. Again, it's a patented uh, structure that we build, uh, as I called it, a plasmonic device. And um, today people will put foam or other types of spacers. And if you put that foam or make it a different thickness, it will impact the center frequency and the performance of that tag, and it won't work as well. Hmm, very interesting. Well, Andre, thank you so much for bringing your tags and giving us this great overview of the Omni ID products. You're very welcome. So now we're going to put Andre's claims to the test and test them in the real world. After several weeks of extensive testing by our team of experts at RFID Global Solution, here's what we found. In our handheld RFID reader tests, all three tags performed better on metal than on cardboard. Keep in mind that the Ultra and the Max HD are global tags, meaning that they're balanced for operation in all regions of the world. The Max Pro we tested is designed for operation in North America. What we found most astonishing is that we were able to read the Ultra from 90 feet away using our handheld. In our stationary RFID reader tests, the Ultra was read at 135 feet away. Our team has never seen this kind of read distance from a passive tag, only semi-passive and active tags. Remember, the Ultra has no battery, which makes it ideal for transportation, logistics, cargo, and container tracking. Given this kind of performance, we have to say OmniID truly has created the ultimate passive RFID tag. If you'd like to try the OmniID tags for yourself, simply click on the free RFID tag sample kit link next to this video. That wraps it up for this edition of the RFID Network. If you'd like more information on the products you've seen or to have your product reviewed, please visit us on the web at rfid.net. Thanks for watching.